Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to collect data from an Azure virtual machine with Azure Monitor. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logging on to the portal. Okay, so what does Azure Monitor do? Azure Monitor maximizes the availability and performance of the applications and services by delivering a comprehensive solution for collecting, analyzing, and acting on telemetry from your cloud and on-premise environments. It will help us to understand how the applications are performing and proactively identify issues affecting them and the resources they depend upon. The beauty of Azure Monitor is that it can collect data directly from the Azure machines into a log uh, analytics workspace for details analysis and correlation. So we will install the log analytics VM extension for Windows and you can do it for Linux as well, which will allow the Azure Monitor to collect data from the Azure VMs. So I will first of all deploy an Azure VM to and then will create a workspace to do it. So let me just quickly deploy the Azure VM using the Cloud Shell. The Cloud Shell will initiate. I'm going to create storage. So if you had, if you are launching the Cloud Shell first time, you will have to create a storage account to make a cloud shell environment for it to run your commands and uh, if by mistake you delete their storage account which has the storage account and the file share on which your cloud commands are stored the cloud shell runs you will have to do it again by mistake by mistake i deleted the storage account while i was deleting all of the resources so i have to create it again so i have a pasted this command it is creating a new resource uh, it is creating a new vm in the resource group in the east us location with the virtual network and hold on let me paste it again so it will create a new vm and it will open the port 80 and 3389 let me just hit enter here I'm going to enter the username that I will get and I'm going to set the password here as well. It is creating a virtual machine. All of the uh, parameters that I've defined in the command. Let me just wait and come back after the after the VM is up and running. Okay, my VM is up and running. Let me go to my VM here. Looks good. Now I'm going to create a workspace I'm gonna to go to my home create a resource under this I'm gonna type in log analytics if it comes here you see log analytics workspace click on it click on create I will keep it in the same resource group. I will set the name to, I can do it my workspace. I'm gonna go with the pricing tier here. I'm gonna go with pay as you go. I don't want tags, I review and create. And I will click on create. Let it complete and I'll come back. It is done. I'm going to click on go to resource. This is my. So for the and now I will enable the log analytics workspace. Uh, sorry, the VM extension. For Windows and Linux virtual machines already deployed in Azure, we install the log analytics agent with the log analytics VM extension. Using the extension simplifies the installation process and automatically configures the agent to send data to the log analytics workspace that we specify. The agent is also upgraded automatically when a newer version is released, ensuring that we have the latest features and fixes. Always make sure that the VM is up and running before you install the 
VM agent extension. So I'm into my log analytics workspace and uh, under the uh, workspace data sources, workspace data sources, click on virtual machines. You see this, you, I have only one VM in this region and it says not connected. So if you will click on here and if you will click on connect, connecting VM to this workspace, the status is connecting. When this will be completed, it will mark the status as connected. Now it says the log analytics connection is uh, this workspace, the one that I am logged on to. Now I'm going to collect event and performance of a Windows VM. So Azure Monitor can collect events from the Windows event logs or a Linux as well. Lord, let's let me show you the steps to configure collection of event from the Windows system log and uh, Linux. You can do it for Linux system log as well. So if you would go to the settings of your uh, workspace. And you click on advanced settings here. It'll come up, give it a few seconds. And now you click on data and it says windows event logs and if you want to go for linux you can click for linux performance counters as well and select it so now if you will click on windows event log click on enter okay you want to do for uh, type in system here and uh, select it click on enter so it will add this here as well right now you click on save to save the configuration okay this is done now you select windows performance counters uh, this will help you to enable the collection of performance counters on a windows computer so when you will first configure windows performance counters for a new log workspace you are given the option to quickly create several common counters so they will be listed like this like you see here this one you can select so you can uncheck all or you can select all and then you can click on add the selected performance counters now if you want to view the uh, data that you have collected now if you will and if you will go to your workspace and if you click on under general click on logs it will take some time so th these are the number of requests these are already uh, configured commands that you can use and now let's say you want to go for this command right click on run so this is the command that will be done you can type in run here so because this is a new VM we have not collected anything so far that is why you do not see anything but let's say if it's been a week or some days and you are facing any issues you can run those commands and you can see the results here in the log analytics workspace in the log section like I did and you can also monitor websites with the Geo monitor application insights as well. I will try to make a video on that as well. So for now, this is how you monitor the Azure VM using Azure Monitor with the help of Log Analytics Workspace. I hope you liked it. It was useful for you. And if you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.